Hi folks, welcome to SUNY's Product How-To Guide. My name is Fernando. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to read the time using the SUNY Band's Vibration Watch. The Vibration Watch helps us read time through a series of short and long pulses. Remember that we press button 1 to go back to home or into the Vibration Watch. There, we can choose how we want to read the time by swiping on the touchpad. So we can choose to read only the hours or the minutes or we can also choose to read the entire time of day. So let's begin by learning how to read the hours. To know the hour, we swipe up on the touchpad. Now for every short pulse we get, we add one hour to the time, and for every long pulse we get, we add five hours to the time. So for example, if it's one o'clock, we'll get one short pulse. If it's three o'clock, we'll get three short pulses. Now let's say it's 6 o'clock. We'll get one long pulse followed by one short pulse. That's 5 plus 1 will equal 6. If it's 8 o'clock, we'll receive one long pulse followed by three short pulses. So that's 5 plus 3 will equal 8 o'clock. Next, we swipe down on the touchpad to read the minutes. Sunu Band will first read the major increments, or how many tens of minutes have passed the hour. It'll then follow with a short break, or pause. Then, it'll read the minor increments, or the individual minutes that have passed. We simply add these two up together to get the exact minutes that have passed the hour. So let's start by learning how to read the major increment, or how many tens of minutes have passed. For every short pulse, we will add 10 minutes to the time. And for every long pulse, we add 50 minutes to the time. So for example, if we receive only one short pulse for the major increment, we know that only 10 minutes have passed the hour. If we get three short pulses, then we know it's 30 minutes past the hour. If we then get one long pulse, then we know that 50 minutes have passed the hour. Finally, we're going to learn how to read the minor increment. For every short pulse we get, we'll add one minute to the time. And for every long pulse we get, we add five minutes to the time. So, if we receive one long pulse followed by three short pulses, we will add eight minutes to the time. Okay, so let's do an example and say that it's 15 minutes past the hour. When I swipe down on the touchpad, I'll first receive one short pulse for the major increment, followed by one long pulse for the minor increment. I'll add these two together, so that's 10 plus 5 to equal 15 minutes have passed the hour. Now let's do another example and pretend that it's 28 minutes past the hour. For the major increment, I will receive two short pulses. And for the minor increment, I'll get one long pulse followed by three short pulses. So then I add everything together. That's 20 plus 5 plus 3 to equal 28 minutes past the hour. Okay, so there's one important thing that we need to consider when we're reading the time. And that's when we have zeros in the minutes. Now this could happen when we are at the top of the hour or when we have a zero for the major increment, meaning that we're sometime below 10 minutes past the hour, or if we have zeros in the minor increment, meaning that it's some multiple of 10 minutes past the hour. Here's a quick example. Let's say it's only one minute past the hour. So an example could be 2.01 p.m. So when I swipe down on the touchpad to read the minutes, for the major increment, I should receive no vibrations, right, just a pause. And then for the minor increment, I only receive one short pulse to indicate that one minute has passed the hour. In another example, if it's exactly 20 minutes past the hour, I'll receive two short pulses for the major increment, that means 20 minutes have passed, and then no pulses for the minor increment, meaning that it's actually right on the zero. Finally, there's one shortcut to read the entire time, and that's through a sweep. 
Sweeping is where we swipe on a touchpad up, down, or down, up in one fluid motion. When we sweep, the sinew band will first read the hour, and then it'll pause and then read the minutes, just as we've shown here. Well, that's it for now. Don't forget to visit our online guide for more examples and practice, and we'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you.